So this morning, we are finally, finally, finally going to be unveiling my brand new car. Now what I will say is that I was very disappointed because upon delivery I wasn't allowed to record anything. For some reason they shut me down. I'm just sitting here with my little camera, excited to get my keys, said no filming. And for the last week I've just been enjoying the car. I finally decided we are gonna wake up at sunrise and record the car unveiling video. I'm very excited, I absolutely love it. Honestly, I probably won't drive anything other than this car for a long time. Well, this, this brand, I don't wanna say this car, because you guys know. <laughs> I think two years is our like limit at this point. <laughs> I won't say that. When the sun comes up, we'll be leaving my apartment and finally showing you guys what we picked up. I'm excited. It's electric. <laughs> it, it, it's a Tesla. I'm gonna, okay, well, I'm gonna do that again. It don't make any noise. It's electric, dummy. Way of the future. Saving the earth, one drive at a time. It don't make any noise. It's electric. Thanks, Tesla. Elon Musk, you're the man. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> the intro should just be a montage of me doing it over. <laughs> I overshot it. It doesn't make any noise. It's electric. Thanks, Elon Musk. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm so excited. It brings me so much pleasure to finally share with you guys my brand new car. This is the Tesla Model S 100D. It is not the performance version, but we will talk about that. Guys, I've had this car for about a week and I am in love in so many different ways. There are a lot of things that Tesla has done great. Obviously with any car though, there are hiccups and things that I don't like about it. But for the most part, I am so incredibly happy with my purchase and uh, I can't wait to show you guys everything, all the bells and whistles, just the vehicle in general, and we're gonna have a great conversation about it because I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. I, it's, the, it's, it's, it's an incredible machine. Elon Musk, you crazy bastard. <laughs> it's so awesome, you guys did a great job. Well, we came here for the sunrise. <laughs> we wanted it to be nice and pretty make the car look better but the sun is slacking off today i don't know what's going on no sun in sight i don't know what happened so when i finally decided to buy a tesla there are a lot of different ways that you can go about purchasing your car there's a new and used inventory that tesla has in certain areas but i think for the most part the majority of people when they buy a tesla or lease or finance they go and do a custom order and that's exactly what i did i spec'd it out exactly the way that i wanted and i'm so happy with the process in general because buying a car is never a lot of fun you got to deal with the salesman you got to deal with the dealership and you got to deal with all the options and packages and so when you're buying a tesla it's just so easy you go on the website i mean i'm not kidding i built my custom order on my phone in like three minutes. It was unbelievable. 10 out of 10 in, in the process of actually finding and buying the car because I just, I literally built it exactly how I wanted to. And again, there really aren't a lot of options to choose from. There's like a premium package. You pick your interior color, your exterior color, and you know, and then you deal with the autopilot and all those other things. But for the most part, it's, it's, it was so easy and it was just so different. You know, it's like, if you go to a car dealership and you walk up to the windows and they have like the sticker on there, they got everything listed out line by line by line by line and you're just looking at the MSRP trying to figure out what's going on. It, it, it's not like that with Tesla. It's, it's no haggle pricing. You walk in or you, you go online, go on the app, you order it and they build it. it it's, it's incredible. I've 
been looking for cars for the last couple months and I, I went through a lot of different evolutions of thought. First, I thought I wanted a BMW M2, like a really compact, sporty BMW because that's what I fell in love with when I originally got into cars with my E92 M3 in 2010. The other thing that I loved too was when I was leaning towards Tesla, I decided to just book a test drive online, which was really, really simple. I worked with a guy named Don. He was incredible, walked me through the entire process. I test drove the Model S, which is the sedan. I test drove the Model X, which is the SUV. But they don't put any pressure on you to buy the car. When, when, you're, when you're dealing with a salesman at a dealership, for the most part, they're trying to make sure that they can charge you the most amount of money they can because they get a better commission. I didn't have to deal with that when buying the Tesla, and that's something that I loved. Watch, watch how easy this is. Order Model S. You design it, okay? Solid black is the color that I chose, and I picked the 21-inch gray turbine wheels. Okay, easy. I would say that summarizes the entire car buying process for me. That was something that I definitely wanted to mention in the video because it was just stress-free. I'm a big fan of the way Tesla has it laid out for you. I, I love it. So now let's actually talk about the car. I decided to go with solid black and there were many reasons why I decided to do that. Uh, my my G-Wagon was black, but I had it wrapped in that gray color you guys saw. It was really blue, and that's something I was really upset about. I think overall, though, the, the just the exterior, the car looks great. I mean, when I when I first saw it in the delivery showroom, it's like, man, I feel like I'm driving the Batmobile. It's just really, really clean. So like I was saying, when you order a Tesla, you really have two options from an exterior standpoint. You have the base color, which I chose solid black, and then you have the wheels. This is the most upgraded package. So these are the 21 inch gray turbine wheels. And I gotta say, I'm a little jealous of my counterpart with the Model X because they offer a black wheel, but I think I might have it powder coated custom myself because I just think black on black would look really good. But I love how like the lugs here, they do do a good job with details and they have those black at least. I would just, I would really like it if we can go inside the car now. I really think that's where the Model S excels and it's the driving experience, the cabin and everything else it has to offer. So let's do that. Let, let me show you what's inside. So I know other cars probably have this feature, but one thing that I absolutely love is when you have the key fob in your pocket, all you, all you, all you need is the key fob in your pocket. I have it right here. And the key fob, by the way, is also just this mini Tesla car. It's, it's, it just looks good. I guess these are actually pretty expensive, so I don't want to lose this. But my one thing I absolutely love is when you walk up to the car, essentially what happens is the Tesla recognizes that you're close. The handles pop out of the car, the mirror opens up, and then you just get right inside. You don't have to fidget around with your fob and unlock it or put a key in the door. Let me, let me show you guys again, because I think it's really, really cool. So you lock it, now you unlock it. Uh, I don't know, something about that really gets me excited. I just, I just think that's really cool. It's small, but it's the little things, you know? Should we get inside the car? Let's get inside the car now. Woo! Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to see what we picked. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. So I wanna preface the interior by saying, I think a lot of people love it, but there are a lot of people that don't like it as well. Everyone keeps talking about the fact that Tesla's probably gonna be doing like a refresh with the Model S interior and updating it and the look of it all. I really am a fan of the minimalist look and you guys will see that all throughout the cabin. I think the one thing that stands out the most when you guys look at the interior is the all white seats and all white trimming. It's, it's stunning. Honestly, it, it looks so damn good. When I was looking at the Teslas, I think the all white interior is something that stood out in my mind because I've always just had a black standard interior on every car that I've ever owned and I wanted to do something a little different. I think there's something about just how the white pops. I've never really been a big fan of cream interior, so just to have this option was just mind blowing and I'm really, really glad that I went with it. The other thing that I love about the white interior and how the rest of the car complements it is you have like a $250 option to have all carbon fiber throughout the car. So if you look throughout the car, you're gonna see just accents of carbon fiber and it's, and it's beautiful. You have it really heavy on the dash, you know, by this big 17 inch touchscreen. You have it down here with the cup holders. You have it down here with all the, the nooks and crannies of the car. I, I think it just looks great. I almost went with the black wood trim, uh, but I, I'm just not a big fan of wood grain. I, I think that's like an older look and, and I think carbon fibers sort of meets my personality and, and just my age, I guess. I don't know. I, maybe I'll come around as I get older with the wood grain, but it's just not for me. I'm not a fan. So now that we're talking through interior, besides all the colors and all the trim and everything, I think the biggest thing right away in every Tesla that stands out 
is this massive touchscreen in the middle of the dash. And this thing is so much fun. And it was definitely one of those things that I just needed to have. When I was looking for a car to buy, there were a lot of different buckets that I was trying to check off my list. You know, I wanted it to be fast and quick, but I also wanted it to be luxurious. I wanted it to be a really nice ride. And I really wanted it to be technologically advanced because there are a lot of makes and models of cars that are really, really fun to drive. But I think there are a lot of brands in the auto market that really, they're slow movers when it comes to updating their interiors and updating the types of cars and the technology that they have inside of them. Like the G63, for instance, is an unbelievable car. Like it's a classic in, in the automobile world. And it's just a vehicle that's so different when you see it on the road, you're like, that's a Mercedes. But the interior was just awful. I mean, they don't update it ever. And that's one of those things that I really, really wanted. I wanted new technology and the Tesla does not fall short in that category by any sense of the word. So I, I'm really, really happy with it. So what happens when you get in the car is that you have profiles that you save to the dashboard. And I obviously have Matt. And so when I get in the car, there's no push to start. There's nothing. You literally just hit the brake, put it in drive, and it's going to put me back into the profile that I saved exactly where I want my seat, exactly where I want the wheel. And then you can see this dashboard. It's stunning. So when you're driving throughout the road, there's actually sensors on the side of the car right now that's going to read what's in front of me, what's around me. It shows you how much power you're outputting, how much mileage you have left on your battery because this is a completely electric car. There's no gas. Like I don't have to go to a gas station ever again if I don't want to. And that was something that was really big for me as well. Obviously it has like your standard speedometer, your miles per hour. So if I put it back in drive right now, it's going back to my saved presets. And then we literally just go. Now guys, we cannot talk about the Model S interior unless we address this massive 17 inch screen that's sitting in the middle of my car. Now, this is the gateway to the entire vehicle. It handles everything from your music to your phone's calendar to navigation, which is Google Maps. You have this gigantic backup camera to make sure that you don't crash in anything when you're backing up and you're in reverse. I mean, you can even have the World Wide Web on your car. I mean, I have Google right here. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous, all the features that it has. I usually have the screen set up where I have navigation to the top and then I'll have my music to the bottom. But that's not all that this is used for. So like I said at the beginning, it controls the entire car. So you open this up. At the top, you start with suspension. So say you're coming up to a speed bump and you want to raise your car so that you don't scrape the bottom of it. It's really, really, really easy. Right now we're in standard. And what's a pretty ridiculous feature is that say I'm driving down Lincoln Boulevard here in California and there's a speed bump that I drive by every single day. I can place it on high and then the car will remember that location. And so when I get there on the map in the G GPS in my car, it'll automatically raise it for me while I'm driving, so I never have to worry again. And then obviously you can control your trunk, you can control the frunk. I have a frunk in this car, I can lock and unlock all the doors, I can adjust all the lighting, then you go through driving, uh, all the different features, you have acceleration, you have traction control, steering, uh, you have something called regenerative braking, which is just ridiculous. I don't think I can ever drive a car without it again. It's basically a feature so that when you take your foot off the gas pedal, the car is braking for you already. And it takes a little bit to get used to, like a couple hours. But then after that, you absolutely love it. You have all these cold weather features. You have heated seats all the way through the back and in the front. You can control all the, the displays. Like I can do night display and it'll, it'll swap everything. And I, I think that's really cool. You can control the brightness. I think this is a little cleaner. You know, you have have like night mode on Twitter and stuff. And you have, you have settings. All right, so now settings is like a whole nother slew of, uh, of features that you can go through. And I mean, it's a little intimidating, but all you really need to know is like you have auto park where if you pull up to a spot, this car will parallel park for you. Uh, it'll even reverse into spots for you and, and park itself in a parking lot. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you know, it has lane assist. A lot of cars have that nowadays. It has collision avoidance assist. It's got a lot of different things that it can do. And honestly, it's like there are so many things to talk about, but one thing we haven't even mentioned is this incredible Tesla app. You can control every part of this car from your phone, essentially. I mean, it's ridiculous. I can be across the country and I can ping to my car, unlock it, I can lock it. I can start the car up for one of my friends. Say I have the keys with me and they need to move my car, I can literally start it for them. If I do a comprehensive review, I'll probably go through the app itself, but 
I think that pretty much covers all the features of the car. A lot of things that I'm excited about with the Tesla have to do with driving, but I just wanted to show you guys all the bells and whistles that come with the vehicle and come standard. Now I wanna give you guys a heads up that I did upgrade to the premium interior package so it gives you better speakers for your sound system. I think that includes the heated seats in the back and I think the heated seats in the front, but I think I made all the right choices. Now one of the last things that I wanna mention in the interior that I'm in love with that I just did not have with my G63 Mercedes and one thing that Jenna really, really loves about this car is the abundance of cup holders. You have two down here and then you open up this little hatch and you got two more down there. And then you come to the rear, there's two more cup holders. Everybody gets a cup holder. It's ridiculous. You have USB ports, places for your phone. I mean, I, I see why some people want there to be a refresh of the Model S interior, but from my standards, I absolutely love it. I think it looks incredible, and uh, I could not be happier with this car, guys. I'm just a really big fan. I love it. I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. It's, it's great, man. We didn't even get to the fun part yet. The fun part is driving. And trust me, that is the best part of this car, but there are just so many other things that I, I really do appreciate and love that Tesla has done. Uh, but the driving experience is without a doubt the one thing that, that stands out in my mind with this car. We need to give it its own spotlight. This is the most important feature of the car. It's the best part of the Tesla. I'm serious when I say this. You guys ready? I have a frunk. It's a frunk. I can't believe it. It's not a trunk. It's in the front of the car. It's a frunk. That's what they call it, I think. But on the Tesla, it says front trunk, but I'm going to call it a frunk. Now, now the only thing that I'm like very confused about with the frunk is I don't know what this is. Here's my guess. And I haven't told this story. I kind of want to tell the story, but it's a little long. Basically, I took delivery of my Tesla. They wouldn't let me record anything when I took delivery. I couldn't record the unveiling, the, the, the process. It was, a, it was a little disappointing. That's all right, Tesla, I'll, I'll forgive you. But I took the car off the lot, and after five minutes, I was pulling up to my apartment, and the car broke. Like, it had a terminal air on the screen and it said something about my air suspension and I needed to take it to a service center immediately. So I was so disappointed and so deflated that I took the car back to the delivery center. They told me that I need to go to a service center, get the car fixed. I'm like, guys, I've had the car for five minutes. What the hell? Luckily, I dropped the car off. They gave me a loaner. I got it back the next day. And then in my frunk, I had this gigantic oversized wrench and I have no idea what it's for, but hey, Tesla, I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it for my troubles from the first day. You guys took the air from underneath me, took my Tesla away. I'm keeping your wrench. <laughs> nah, I'll probably give it back. I don't really need it. What am I going to do with this? I've actually, I think it's been sliding around in here, making a bunch of noise. I don't think that's good for the car, but. Oh yeah, that's probably not good at all. The only thing that sucks is that it's not, uh, it's the only part of the car that's really not automatic. So I got to close it the old fashioned way. Put a little weight on it. Now it's closed. I've got a frunk. I can't believe it. All right, let's go driving. Gabriel said, hey, can you go full speed on top of this parking garage so that we can get the acceleration of the Tesla? Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. What's happening? There was a really bad accident. We gotta, we should see if check they're, they're okay. check if yeah. they're okay.